Alrighty guys, what's going on? Titanium Biscuits here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I just gotta get something off my chest. The science camos are absolutely whack. They suck, man. They are the most annoying camos to get in this game. It's not even that the challenge is hard, they're just annoying. I don't know how else to say it. So I've been trying to get my bullfrog gold all morning, and I've been doing these point blanks, and man, and they have absolutely destroyed my will to keep going. And it is just plain out annoying. I don't know how else to say it. Theoretically, it shouldn't be that hard to do. Point blank just means you get close to them and you kill them and that's point blank. But the problem is when you're doing this with a submachine gun, a submachine gun takes multiple bullets to kill somebody. So most of the time you get up in their face and then you lose them and then your camera can't track them because you lose your aim assist and you can't see where they're going because you're so close to them. And you're hip firing and you're trying to kill them, but you only get to hit them twice because all your hip fire bullets are going into the abyss. And you can't aim in because if you aim in, then you won't be able to follow them because you're so close to them that your aim will be so slow you won't be able to keep up. And then after all this work, they just kill you. It's honestly the worst thing ever. I don't know why it couldn't just be hip fire kills. We've had hip fire kills in every other Call of Duty. For some reason, Treyarch, this go around, they just wanted to be different. So we ended up with point blank kills. And with shotguns, it wasn't that bad. I took it for granted. A shotgun, you get close enough into point blank range, it's a one shot kill, no biggie. But with these submachine guns having to land multiple shots, it is absolutely terrible. And then don't even get me started on the science camos for guns that aren't even submachine guns or shotguns. Having to shoot and kill enemies that are taking cover from you in multiplayer is probably the worst idea for a camo challenge ever. It doesn't even tell you what that means. You just have to figure it out. But if you play enough, you kind of figure out that it basically means someone has to be standing next to a piece of cover when you kill them. But how they're standing next to that piece of cover matters a lot. They can't be just close to the cover. They have to basically be touching the cover. If they're not within a one meter radius of the cover, it's not going to count. If you're shooting at them and they take one too many steps backwards or one too many steps to the right or left of the cover, there goes your cover kill. The problem with these camos is that everything has to be a specific way, but they don't tell you what the specific way is. So you end up having to rely on the enemy they have to do what you need them to do when they're supposed to do it. Camos that rely on the enemy player having to do a specific thing when you kill them is completely ridiculous. I don't understand it. How is it a test of my skill whether or not the enemy stays behind cover or not? How am I a better player with this gun if the enemy decides to stay behind cover or if they don't? It's not up to me. It's up to them. Once again, the ARs could easily have been hipfire kills. Usually my least favorite camos to unlock are the long shot camos because once again, it's out of your control. You can sit down a long shot alley all you want, but if enemies don't go over there, you're just wasting your time. There's nothing you could do. But back to point blank kills. Ugh, they have been kicking my butt. And point blanks really don't seem that bad until you're actually the one having to do it. And it just drains you. But anyway, yeah, that's what I've been doing all morning, and as you can see, it's gotten me into quite a mood. And the thing is, this is only my first submachine gun. I got four more to do after this. I have so many more hardships to suffer through in this game. I'm not even close. But to help ease the pain, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna take you guys with me. You're gonna come down this roller coaster of pain with me, so I don't have to suffer alone. We're going to be unlocking the point blank camos for the bullfrog. And once we get that done, we will be one step closer to getting gold for this bad boy. And yeah, the new update just recently came out. So now we have Nuketown 24-7 instead of For the Motherland, which was the boat map and Moscow, which were all right. That's what I was doing before. But we'll see. Maybe Nuketown will be a lot better. So basically what's worked the best for me is trying to end up behind the enemy and just slide into their backs and kill them before they even know what's going on. You have to try and take advantage of people not knowing that you're about to come up on them like that because the second they know they're gonna back up or 
If you're behind them, they're literally just going to turn around and kill you. And that wasn't a point blank. Fantastic. Now, we're just going to sit in this house here and hopefully... Alright, there we go. My first headbutt of the game. Point blank. Thank you. And yeah, I could try to do it in hardcore because you would kill people quicker, but... The thing is, I would also die faster, and the SMGs already take two bullets to kill. Most of the other guns are only a one-shot kill, so that just would not, would not be good at all. Nope. Way too far away for that. And that's a point blank. Alright, we squeezed that one out. You see this guy, we're gonna chase him down and hopefully shoot him in the... All right, point blank. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, see, get ready for a lot of that, folks. That's the first of many. You see what I'm saying? You send your body just flying at them with all your hopes and dreams just to get one point blank. And they just simply say, no. They turn, grab you by the neck, shake you out for all your money, take your hopes and dreams, they just move on their day like you were nothing. All your hopes and dreams just gone in that moment. It's from the flick of their thumbstick and the click of their right trigger. I know it sounds pretty dramatic, but this is how I feel getting these point blanks. Like, it is just so annoying. I'm just constantly throwing my body at people. Here, take me. Dead. Here, take me. Dead. Here to- Oh, a point blank, yes! Here, take- Dead. Oh, there we go, there's one. And there's another, alright. And I just want to know, am I the only one that feels this way? Am I just being a huge baby? Or are you guys like me, you just absolutely hate the science camos? Because for me, when I'm working on a gun, and I'm making a bunch of progress, and then I end up at the science camos, my mood is just instantly ruined. But maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think in the comments. And not to mention, it's one of the last camos that you can make progress on. So even if you did get point blanks before, they wouldn't even count because your gun's not a high enough level. So once you get to this point, you have to actively go for it. Like, it just adds insult to injury. I hate you, science camos. Point blank, thank you. Okay, but let me get off this rant because I do actually have some good news for this video. I actually just finished my last test in college for this semester. I took my last exam and I'm done for like five weeks. I'm on Christmas break so I can do whatever I want, spend my free time however I want to spend it. And I'm going to be making a lot more videos, so I hope you guys enjoy them. I mean, that's the purpose. So hopefully that's some good news anyways. Point blank, thank you. Are you kidding? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sitting here trying to kiss her on the cheek, and she's actually playing the game how it's supposed to be played, so obviously she just turns to her left and just destroys my hopes and dreams. Point blank, thank you. Once you do this for a good amount of time, you're just brain dead. You're not even playing anymore. You're just... Your fingers are operating on their own and you're just staring at the screen, hoping for it to finally end. But I will give credit where credit is due. Nuketown is working wonders for me right now. I have gotten a lot of point blanks. I've gotten more point blanks in this one game than I would get in three normal games. So if you want any point blank tips, my tip is play Nuketown 24-7, at least from this experience I'm having right now. Who knows, I could get skill-based matchmaking to next game and just get absolutely destroyed and if nuketown's not 24 7 whenever you're going for these point blanks just get ready to get massacred over and over i'm sorry you're what you're gonna have to go through okay 61 out of 76 uh, all right we made a lot of progress thank goodness yeah definitely nuketown is your best friend when you're going for point blanks combined arms assault on armada i thought i was in the nuketown playlist what is this get me out of here so basically, if I had to sum up this video in one sentence, it's I hate science camos. That's what this whole video was about. I just wanted to get it off my chest. I hate science camos. They've been getting me flustered all morning, and this is the outcome. Are you happy, Treyarch? This is what you've turned me into.
I ran out of freaking bullets. Point blank, yes. Come here, buddy. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's try and get into their house. Okay, let's try again. Let's run some more. Thank you, yes, oh my god, Policia Camo. You don't know how happy I am to see you right now. Oh my god. Whoever I just got that point blank on, thank you so much. You don't know how much you mean to me right now. Ah, that is the biggest relief ever, oh my god. I was doing point blanks for far too long. I almost lost my sanity, I can't take it anymore. Yes, okay, here we go. Policia Camo, get on my weapon, I freaking earned you. These are the worst camos you have to go through, but once they're done, man, what a relief. And I'm pretty sure the only guns I have left to get point blanks on are the SMGs, because I think it's only shotguns and SMGs. And I have four more to do, four more, that I never have to do point blanks again. I cannot wait for that day. But thanks for coming on this little journey with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. A rating is always appreciated. And I'm just now realizing that the science camos for every other gun except for the shotguns and SMGs, even the pistols, are gonna be way worse!